And now we're live in Maple Leaf. What's up, y'all? Jehovah's Rap God Fancy here. Welcome to another episode of Fancy Fantastic Shot Off. How y'all been? I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while, you know, how that is, y'all. And I know how that is, y'all. I haven't been doing the episodes recently because I've been busy with the prior engagements and everything else like that. So, anyway, guys, I'm back. And if y'all, I'm sure y'all enjoyed the latest episode when I interviewed with JD Lowkey, Seattle's fashionable model that I met up with doing photo shoots with. If y'all haven't seen the latest episode, the link is on the description there, so y'all can check it out. And also, I'm gonna we're, we're gonna talk about what's been going on with me and what I've been up to and everything, and the good news from the beginning of this month, and the updates, new things coming up, and my new latest songs that'll be dropping. So anyway, so. All right, let's get let's get it going, y'all. Let's get to what we're gonna talk about. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on. Well, I'm sure you guys already heard about there's like those wildfires. That's crazy and crappy, y'all. Who whoever caused those wildfires, who whoever keeps on causing those, they need to stop looting and everything because. We just have haze last week, y'all. Last weekend, we have haze. We don't... That's unexpected, and we can't, you know, have that happening. The haze came into our city, Seattle, and caused the air to be poor quality and caused people not to breathe properly. And I'm telling you... Sorry, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. I just caught a sore throat last Saturday evening, so I don't know how I caught it. It's not COVID related, so I'm okay. I just been eating top ramen, drink a lot of fluids and everything else like that. But anyway, I'm healing, so trying to get over that. So yeah, guys, I don't like air poor air qualities because you know. That makes me breathe too much and cause my lungs to be erupted. So, I don't need that. Yeah, guys. We get tired of having poor air qualities and everything. And, yeah. But, thank God the rain came back and get rid of this haze. And, and my new song that comes up for that is called The Smoke's Gonna Go. Shout out to Cook, one of my city co-workers. That came up with that title. Because. He doesn't he doesn't like the, the smoke either. So. Anyway. In Portland. They have the worst air quality ever. When, when they have haze. And you can't believe it. California is burning y'all. How crazy is that? Really crazy I believe. Anyway. Uh, let's go on to the next update. I'm sure y'all heard about. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away last Friday on September 18th. Was it September 18th? Yeah, September 18th. Yeah, she's the one that protects all of us and makes decisions of what women can wear and everything. Women can wear anything. You, nobody tells women what they should do and what they shouldn't do. That's not our right. And that's not everyone's right. That's the women's right. So. Ruth. Justice Ginsburg died at age 87. Gonna miss her. Dearly. R.I.P. to Justice Ginsburg. And I'm gonna make a tribute song. About her y'all. Which will be out in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. <sighs> Man. This is getting really scary, y'all. 2020, screw you. And COVID is like ruining our time and year. You know what I mean, y'all? So, yeah. But don't worry. We got this through. We, we are stronger than ever, y'all. So, anyway. um, What else? Um, Yeah, I just caught a sore throat last Saturday evening. I don't know how I caught it. It's just... This is the tussle stones that caused it, so don't worry. It'll go away by itself. You know what I mean? And what I did during this summer, I did yard work for people, did street performances, 
and it was really was so much fun. Everyone appreciated my help, and they appreciated when I street perform for them. I perform up at the Chop, and I street perform at Alki Beach, and at Golden Gardens. That's what I did street performances at. And then I did some virtual concerts during the quarantine. That's what I did. I made more music. And my new album is going to be out in October. I just got all of the songs pre-recorded. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Um, And Zen the Martian. I haven't reached out to him recently because I've been really busy. And I'm not sure when I'm going to bring him back to do this episode with me again. So... Stay tuned for that. We'll let you keep you updated of when Zen the Martian's gonna come back here. So, and anyway, y'all, I've been enjoying being with the group that does rapping about what they want to talk about and everything else like that. So, yeah, guys, um, I don't know what to say. So, I've been enjoying this app. It's kind of like an app that, well, you know, you rap on. Use the beats that they made and the effects and all the audio effects that you want to add there and everything else like that. So, anyway, I love the app so much. I enjoy the app when, you know, I can't tell you what it is because it's, you know, it's private and I cannot say it out. Don't want to spoil it. So, anyway, yeah. So, Anyway, y'all, I'm going to tell you guys what happened with me last Saturday evening. When I was doing this person's yard work, it was like around like 6 something, 645. It was in the Maple Leaf area where I live in, right off of 88th and 12th. I was trying to go to 7-Eleven or BCU to deposit something for my model friends because we did the photo shoot. Before I tell you about the photo shoot... I'm going to tell you a little bit of details. Last Wednesday, I did a photo shoot with Jay Lee Lowkey from the episode. And this other girl named Michelle, but she likes to be called Shelly's Grind. That's her, her nickname for her, you know. She's also a model as well, more into adult stuff. Don't mind that. And she has a child, so I don't want to tell you more details about it. Yeah, guys, when I was walking, like, when I done doing this person's yard work since 10 this morning and finished it around 6.30 in the evening, I was walking towards 91st and 12th, and I was staying on 91st, and I, real, I realized that this car here is like golden golden type of car. It's like golden brown. I don't know what kind of car is it. I didn't pay attention. And it stopped there. I was keep walking. I was carrying my extension cord, my weed whacker, and my clippers, and my dustpan, and this, and there's this white guy driving, and kind of follow me, he asked me, where did you get that stuff, and I tell him, I tell him, I got it from home, I did yard work today, and he said, where did you get it, and, and, and he said, and he, and also I tried to, to, to explain to him, and he says, like, this is this is a similar like I have. You took it from my yard. And I told him, you made a big mistake. I don't know what you're talking about. And he started telling me, you, you sold my stuff in your yard. You, you're not supposed to take stuff in my yard. And what am I thinking, y'all? I don't know that guy. And I've never been in this house. And i never been in this yard. I don't know where he lives. I don't understand why the hell, why the hell did he like tell me and accusing me of the tools that I took that I never took from him and I tried to tell him I got those tools from my mom and from the house and he he keeps repeating me that same question over and over again where'd you get that stuff that's the, that's the same stuff I have you, you stole it from my yard and I tried to, t- to tell him and he threatened to call the cops on me I'm like yo you're starting to accuse me a bit he is accusing me, y'all. That's a white guy, and he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it of what I try to tell him. And and I told him I got it from my house and everything. And he asked, he asked once, wants to know where I live, and I can't tell him because I don't trust him. I don't know what he is. He might be a chat or something. And he and he started to call the cops on me. He said, "I'm going to call. I'm calling the police. 
I'm calling the police. You shouldn't stole my stuff in the yard. And and he thinks that the tools I have it belongs to him, but it's not. I'm trying to I'm running scared. And he started to like, you know, like I'm trying to run away, but he drives, drives follow me, drives after me. And when I get when I got off on 91st and Roosevelt, I was really, really scared and panicking. And he started calling up 911 and told him what I have and everything. And I tried to tell the guy to get away from me. Get the hell away from me. What the hell is this problem? He started accusing me, threatening me and everything else. So, you know what I did, y'all? Do you know what I really did? I dropped my tools and the extension cord, the weed whacker, and those things. I dropped it, y'all. I dropped the weed whackers. And also, a weed whacker, a section cord, and my clippers. I dropped them, and I got harassed and attacked by this guy. I tried to get, get to have him get away from me, but he's still like following me. And it was by the 7-Eleven. When I landed by 7-Eleven, that's where I dropped some of my tools down, and I let him take it. Those tools doesn't belong to him. He thinks I took it from his yard, but I don't know where he lives, and I never been to his yard. Why the hell? What the fuck? I am so upset and scared. And he he's trying to like keeps like following me. I'm trying to run away. He's like drive drive and follow me, and wants to know where I live. No one. I don't want anyone to know where I live. I don't want any stupid weird person I don't trust to know where I live. I am scared. And there, there it goes. There goes my tools. I lost them, y'all. I lost my weed whacker, clippers, and extension cord, and my weed whacker. I lost everything. So I believe it goes to that guy now. Fuck him, y'all. He's like, he's trying to drive. I tried to take a pic of his license plate and videotape it, but I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what I should do. Man. I was really scared. So, and he turned around and drive away because he doesn't want to get picture taken or videotaped. So, hopefully the police will not find out and recognize who I am and everything. So, I'm telling you guys, my mom gave me that wee whacker. And that's for me. And the, and the guy thinks it's, a, it's his, but it's not. So... I believe he got the same weed whackers I do, but he doesn't know. I think, I don't understand. He should explain to me. I should have called my roommate up and told him what happened. But, thank God, I just ran away. He didn't fall. The guy didn't follow me this time. And that was a bad Saturday evening I ever have, y'all. I don't like it. <clears throat> this is messed up, y'all. He said his negative vibes towards me. And I don't appreciate that. So, I was really upset that Saturday evening when I got back home. I told my roommate all about it and he got all shocked and worried about me. And hopefully I don't see that guy anymore. He is big trouble. He's bad news. And he's trying to get me arrested, trouble, or let the police shoot me or anything. I don't want to get shot or anything. I have no time for that. And I have no time for people... To start accusing me of the things that they believe it belongs to them. Which not. Have y'all feel this way before? If you're black, did anyone who is white t tell you the same thing? That they think those tool belongs to them but it's not? You let me know and, uh, and we we'll, can talk about it. So, I'm alright you guys. I have to go work hard to replace these tools I lost. But thank God I still have my electric mower and those things. So, anyway, guys, that's what's been going on with me last Saturday evening. So, yeah. But Sunday, I did some more yard work. And they had me use their tools. Use the edge trimmer. That was the best Sunday ever, y'all. I'm telling you. And I'm not going to let anyone accuse me like that ever. I can't let that get to me. So, anyway, let's move on, y'all. Let's move on. So, anyway, uh, what else? Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, 
I stayed in that hotel last Wednesday. We have a fun time. And I did a photo shoot with Jaylee Loki and Michelle Cars of Shelly's Grind. It was a great photo shoot and great night ever. We spent a night in the hotel in downtown and talk and chat and everything else. And Thursday morning, it was me and Michelle. I'm not going to tell you that because it's too personal. What happened to Jay Lee and why he she hasn't come back and anything else. I don't want to go over that. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, we had a fun time. And they'll let me know when we're going to do the next photo shoots again and everything else like that. So, anyway... That was the best week ever last week, y'all. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to ask Michelle if, if she wants to do a podcast interview with me and ask her a few questions about it. So, anyway, um, let's see what else. Um, Oh, yeah. Start what's coming up soon, y'all. I'll be doing a virtual concert with Best Buddies for the Champion of the Year campaign that me and my campaign manager, Reina, are putting together. So, if you guys have anything to donate, the link is on the description there. Come support my Best Buddies Champion of the Year campaign. And the deadline will be ending in October. So, we're trying to raise about $2,000 for the Champion of the Year campaign. So, please, y'all, if y'all know anyone who was willing to, like, support our campaign, share the link and so they will know about it. So, anyway, we're going to keep trying on raising money to her campaign and everything. And I'm good at posting up flyers and everything else like that, you know. I'm going to tell you, my life is shining and I'm not going to let any negative vibes get to me that will probably set me up. I don't like setups, y'all. Setups is like, it scares me a lot. So, we don't want to get set up by people that we don't trust. You, you know what I mean? Right? Okay, so... Yeah, guys, what else were we going to talk about? Um, if you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about, just comment of what you want me to talk about and everything so I would know and prepare for that for the next episode. So, anyway, um, and I'm going to meet with uh, Jay all day really soon. And, and I wonder, when are they going to develop, when's the COVID-19 vaccine would be out maybe in the next but year two years three years who knows when the vaccine will be ready and i know those cases keeps going up and up because people didn't wear their damn masks that's what happens people think the epidemic is over hell no it's not over yet come on what's up with others they don't know what they're doing and yeah, and I'm telling you guys, I don't trust SPD either. I don't know what they're doing, and I don't still know. So, the people who got my back is my roommate and my fans. Those are the only people who got my back. So, don't worry, guys. I'll be all right. I have to be way more careful and be on the lookout. You know what I mean? So, my life will always be shining no matter what. So... Anyway, I'm going to tell you about those two songs I'm going to drop. Don't Be a Karen's going to be out. And the little icon, tribute to Chadwick Boseman. I'm sure you guys heard about what happened to Chadwick Boseman that last month. They died of cancer at age uh, 43. He played as T'Challa in the Black Panther. Sadly, he won't be in Black Panther 2 because he died. So, someone needs to, some character needs to take his replacement. And I like the Black Panther movie, y'all. It's my great, one of the greatest Marvel movies I ever watched. So, anyway, yeah. It's interesting. So, anyway, what else? Um, And I'll be doing more virtual concerts when Thanksgiving or Halloween comes up. And all those things. So, anyway, guys. um, I think that's everything we're going to talk about. We're out of time. And... I know it's really long. It's kind of taking a longer time. So, anyway, y'all, if you want to see more of my stuff, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my stuff. If you guys want to check out more mu my music, go on my Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp. That is on the description there. And share that to your friends so they will know who I am and everything else. And if y'all haven't seen that movie, Fantasy Gets Jacked, it, the link is on the description there because... 
That movie is awesome. It's the greatest movie that y'all have to watch. You know what I mean? Everyone watches like it's like over one thousand five hundred views already. Isn't that interesting or what? Y'all are better watch fans that gets jacked. Or else, you know, you're missing out and you don't care about this guy who does hard work with rapping and acting. So anyway, come get your butts air and check out my movie. And also one more thing. Fans think it's frustrated. It's almost done. The film is in production right now. It's a sequel to Fans Think It's Jacked. Are y'all excited for that? I am. Yeah. So, anyway, if y'all have any fan mail you want to send to me, hit me up on my fan mail. That's, that's on the description right there. If y'all want have any fan mail to send me. So, and also, next month in October, I'll have Fans CA Wash Your Hands t-shirts in pink for the breast cancer awareness month so it'll be available on Bandcamp in october so if you're interested come go on band camp and look out for it and also i want to give a huge shout out to my loyal fans ariana and sophia selen who got their fans they love me dresses by the sweetheart amelia and also i want to give a huge shout out to um Cor- Corvin Morris, who's one of the YouTubers, get a shout out to him, and shout out to Rich Persian, who's gonna do my song, Ariel Lea, and Kitten Bitch, aka Sophie, and all the others too, and Lovely as well. So, anyway, a shout out to all the fans who support me and everything. So, and shout out to Julie C as well. Go check her out. Anyway, you guys, that's everything. Uh, thank y'all for listening and watching this podcast series of Fantasy. Aka- fantasy aspect shot off and hope you guys have a fantasy aspect day and there'll be more episodes coming up and i'm gonna interview more people and also yeah and my all y'all to remember is to be yourself be inspired be respectful wash your hands and keep protesting all righty y'all peace much love love y'all and see y'all next time